the internet. It is your favorite Little Mermaid, Tammy Tsunami. How are you doing? As of today, it's the 30th of December. That means we are literally two days, two days away from the new year, okay? Today's Monday. It is the last Monday of 2019. I literally have so much going on in my life, but I said I had to literally stop, make this video, just so I can sit down one-on-one -on -one with you and ask you, how did 2019 go for you? How did it go? Those new year resolutions we set together at the beginning of the year, did you accomplish them? How did that go? Did you work hard to it? Even if you didn't, were you making moves? Were you trying your best every morning you woke up? I just wanna know, go ahead and DM me. Let me know if you did your best. And if not, let me know how I can help you to do better. But as we proceed into this new year, you guys, I just really wanted to make sure we're going in with this word, okay? It's been on my heart for a few weeks now and it's intention, okay? Do nothing without intention, 2020. Do nothing without intent. Every move you make, I want us to stop and clarify and verify. Shout out to my coach Stormy for bringing that in my head this morning with her morning motivations, her Monday morning motivations every day. Coach Stormy, get at her. But she said, Clarify and verify before you get into any moves, before you do anything, if you're calling a friend on the phone, if you're saying, hey, what's up? You're gonna clarify and verify what is this conversation doing for me? Before you step out of your house, if you're going out to turn up, you, Tammy, talking to you, if you're gonna go turn up, the friends you're turning up with, what is this doing for you? Clarify and verify, is it helping your business? Is it not helping your business? Is it pushing you forward? Is it taking you a step backwards? There's nothing wrong with doing something if it's gonna take you backwards. As long as you clarify and you know you are aware that this is not taking you any step further into where you're going. So if that's the case, go ahead and do it. But I know I'm making no moves this 2020 without intention. Every single thing I do this year, I'm going to ask myself, Tammy, is this helping you or hurting you? And if it is hurting me, I'm going to come to the conclusion of, okay, well, I'm going to choose to be hurt right now, okay? I'm making this bad decision, and I'm aware it's a bad decision, but I'm going to take this out. And I trust and believe that if I move like this, if I'm moving with intention in every single step I'm making, every single thing I'm doing this year, I highly doubt that December 2020 is going to come around and I'm not going to be in a place of peace. I highly doubt that I'm going to be feeling guilt or remorse or regret. Okay, so those are the three things that I'm not taking anywhere with me into 2020. Guilt. Get that out of the door. If I have any people I did wrong this year, I apologize very publicly on social media. I will go ahead and message you privately and just say thank you. Okay, I'm sorry and thank you. Thank you for the lessons. I'm sorry for the part I played, but it was a lesson to learn from and I'm a greater person today because of it. So I'm gonna go ahead, make sure that I apologize and I get rid of all of the any guilt, no bad energies walking in with me to 2020. 2020 is a blank canvas, okay, you guys? And what I mean by that is, look at this. Look at this white sheet of paper. See how it's blank, there's nothing on it. That is how your 2020 is. We're going into a new decade. What are you gonna do with this new decade? Are you gonna make the moves that you said you were gonna make last decade and didn't do? Because it's literally empty. There's so much room for you to write whatever it is you wanna write. If you made mistakes in 2019, 2018, 2017, go ahead and text whoever it was. Tell them, yo, I'm sorry. Thanks for the lesson, but I'm moving on. You don't even have to say that moving on part. Just tell them you're sorry, thank you, and keep it pushing. Let go of all the pain. Let go of all the stress. If somebody broke your heart in 2019, go ahead and text them, thank you. Don't say anything else. If they respond back, oh, baby, it's time for us to get started again. No. Just go ahead and text every single person who hurt you this year, thank you. Because now you have drive. Now you have a, a force that's burning inside of you. You have internal volition, okay? Now you are an unstoppable femme fatale, male fatale, whatever you are. Go ahead. Go off, okay? Because we're going into 2020 unstoppable. And that's how I literally feel. You guys are looking at me. I woke up this morning so, so excited. I mean, my initial feeling wasn't really excitement. You know, if you're not careful, you can allow the enemy to creep in within seconds. If you're not careful, your day... 
how you start your day can really affect the rest of it. So I started my day this morning. I opened, I woke up, I opened my phone, I looked at my trades, cause you know I'm a forex trader. Put a huge smile on my face, saw all the blues. I went ahead, I said my little prayer. I said, God, please let it be a great day. I bind and I cancel any negative energy. I am moving forward with positive energy today. It, it was so easy. It is so easy to allow your whole day to be thrown off like that. Second. And I fought that. I had to fight that. I hopped on Coach Stormy's live video where she gave me her morning motivation. I went on to the Trade House Investments group morning motivation, okay? Because the, the team I trade with, we give each other motivation pretty much every day, five days a week. So I went and made sure I got my little dose of strength, okay? This is what this year is about. Moving into 2020, I want you to identify everything that gives you fuel. I want you to identify. I want After you finish watching this video, go ahead and pull up two sheets of paper or I can two Word documents if you are technically savvy and don't want to write. Pull up these two things. On one list, I want you to write everything that you want and everything that's going to get you there. Okay, so let me give you an example. I want to be a master trader. What that means for me is that I want to be able to go to the Forex markets and be making at least 10K a week. That's my goal. That is my goal, okay? And what am I gonna do to get there? I'm going to make sure I'm using the resources, watching the videos, networking with the right people, people who already know how to do these things. I'm going to find a way to put myself in the position to be who I want to be. Okay? If it's meant to be, it's up to me. Another quote from Stormy. She's the best. But if you want something to be, it's literally going to have to be up to you. So you're going to have to make those decisions on how you want your life to be and what, you want, what you're willing to give up to get what you want. So on that list, go ahead and write down everything you want and everything is going to take to get there. And on another list, I want you to write everything you did this year and the years, you know, behind this one, 2018, 2017, 2015, 2010. Go all the way back. Figure out the things you did that you weren't so happy about. Like, was it your temper? Was it your impatience? Was it that you were a little loose in the streets? No judgment. Okay, you're a little ho, you're a little ho. You don't want to do that no more. That's cool. Find your list of things that you did the previous year that did not make you happy and then write what is going to make you not do that, okay? So, you were a hoe last year. Let's use this as an example. You were a hoe last year and you was giving it around to everybody. Well, what's going to stop you from doing that? Maybe self-love, right? Or not saying that, you know, you, you don't love yourself if you want to fuck around, but just, this is an example. If you were a hoe last year and you want to change that, what is something you can do? Say, oh, well, maybe I'm going to spend more time at Bible study on Wednesdays. Maybe I might find a, a guy who wants to be with me and just me there. That's a solution to a problem. So we're going to have two lists, okay? List of goals and things we're going to do to get there and then list of things we don't want in our life anymore and what we're going to do to make sure we don't do that anymore. And we're going to just see how life is going to go. That's the only thing I want for you. Fuck a New Year resolution. What is a New Year's resolution? Because we start these resolutions and we don't keep up to them because now the resolution is just kind of this idea. We make a goal at the beginning of the year and we just leave it that, at that. Like a re What is a resolution? The definition for a resolution is a firm decision to do or not to do something. Okay, so it's just a decision. It's just a decision. You decide to do or not to do, but are you going to keep up with that action? Those are resolutions, okay? We're going to throw those outside. We're going to come up with solutions. Solutions to our problems. Solutions to our goals. Solutions to where we're trying to go. Solutions to our dreams. Do you guys know what that means? I'm not even trying to rap. Okay, I'm just joking. No, but do you guys know what that means though? To have a dream and then to find the solution to this. Because like, your dream is a formula, right? Your dream is A plus B equals C for my algebra folks, okay? Your dream is a formula. You said you wanted this and you said you're going to do this so you can get this. So now, how are you going to do it? 
What is your solution to this formula you just listed out? To this problem you just found? What's the solution? List it out. Does that mean you're going to start taking classes? Does that mean you're going to find yourself hanging around people who are going to be adding to you instead of taking from you? Does that mean you're going to have to cut out going out every weekend because you're popping bottles and it's not coming back to you in any way, shape, or form? What does it mean? What is the solution to your dream? What are you willing to do this new decade? Because we're stepping into a new decade and I had to come here with this kind of energy this Monday to shake everybody up. Because I feel like we're too relaxed. I feel like everyone is too relaxed setting dreams and just leaving it there. We come up with an idea. Oh, I want to drop 50 pounds. We might go to the gym for a month. We might eat a salad twice a week. And then that's it. We set these resolutions and we leave them there. So that's why I'm challenging us this Monday, the last Monday of 2019, create solutions. Stop being victims. Create solutions to your issues. I have personal issues going on with my life as I sit here and speak with you. And as I'm talking, I'm inspiring myself to come up with those solutions. I am a bit under the weather, so please forgive my voice, but Create the solutions. This is how this is how crucial this is to me that I made sure that the people I love so much, my followers, my friends, my family, we're not walking in a 2019 confused and lost. Okay? If you have something you want to do and you have not set a goal, right now what we're doing is we're just moving like this. We're just wilding out in, in the middle of nowhere. You have a dream, but you don't you're not moving towards it. You're just moving. So if you're just moving without direction, you could be going in circles or you could be doing zigzag to nowhere, no man's land. You can be going to go chill with Curse the Cowardly Dog in the middle of nowhere with Muriel. And like, that's not what you want for yourself. You want to have intention. You want to have goals. You want to be very clear, crystal pristine clarity. As we enter 2020, you want to know exactly what it is that you want. Write it down, sis. Write it down, bro. Be very precise with this because it's not a joke. We're moving into a decade called that begins with 2020. Those numbers alone, don't, there's something special about that number in it alone. It seems like like double double. If you're African, you know what double double means. We're walking into a season of double double blessings. We're walking into a season of two times, two times the energy, two times the strength, two times the the dreams, the goals, two times the success, two times everything. We're moving into a season where there's so much power and energy just waiting for us. You just have to be the right kind of person. You have to have the right head on your shoulders. You have to set your goals so you can start moving towards it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not playing anymore. I love my generation. The millennials and the generation Z and the generation X, we are a force to be reckoned with in the sense that we have created a new level of accountability. Right now, it is no longer a luxury to have multiple sources of income or to say you want financial freedom and to be able to do anything you want to do or fly or travel wherever you want to fly. That's not a luxury. That's a necessity from our generation. And now the millennials and Generation Z, we've kind of set this standard that the older people are watching us. The younger people are watching us. We are on fire, you guys. We can do anything we want. We are in a wonderful state in which if you want to be anything, if you want to do anything, we have access to this thing called Wi-Fi, the internet. We have access to something that can give us the education we need and whatever the hell it is we want to do. And with the right work ethic, we can see it done well. So, as you enter this new year, my beloved, what are you gonna do with it? Get very crystal clear about what it is you want. Because as you're going in, as you're crossing over on Tuesday night to Wednesday, as you're crossing over, there's gonna be a lot of energy in the moon. There's gonna be a lot of energy for the rest of 2020. And if you don't know what you want, if you're still just doing this, reaching out and just floating, you're gonna keep doing that, but now times two, right? Cause it's double, double. But if you set a goal or a few of them and you say, okay, I wanna do this. And then after this, I wanna do this. 
And then after this, I'm going to do this. You know, if you're setting these goals and now you zoomed in your focus, you're clarified, you're lasered in, you're no longer making moves like this. If you're waking up every morning and you're clarifying and verifying every single step you make, before you make a move, you've already thought about it. This is something that's going to help me or hurt me. And just, just that thinking about it alone, whether it's going to help you or hurt you, that alone is going to reduce the amount of times you make crash dummy mistakes. Because you're going to be like, damn, how many moves am I going to make this week that's going to hurt me? <laughs> that's what you're going to start thinking, right? You're going to be like, um, I, I did this twice today already. I've already hurt myself twice today. Should I? Can I afford a third time? Accountability. Intention. Move with intention. Let's start moving like this. Zoom in. Laser focus yourself, okay? Those goals, now that I've said I wanted to do this, this is A, this is B, this is C. Now I know this is the direction I want to be moving in. My brother and my sisters, I'm going like this. Nothing is going to stop me from going like this. Now that I've said this is what I want to do, my brother and my sister, I'm going like this. I'm going like this. I'm going like this. I'm going like this. Nothing is stopping me from doing this 2020. Nothing. I've said what I wanted to do and I'm going to make sure I do it. And I'm making this video so you can go ahead and tell me what you want to do or say to yourself and then also share how I can help you. Find what makes you feel fulfilled. Find something that's going to help you feel happy. Something you're going to do and it's not going to be work for you. Something that you can do that not only brings you money, but fuels your drive and do it, do it, do it. Okay, 2020 is not the year to be playing around. 2020 is not the year to be confused. 2020 is not the year to be doing this. No more of this. We're laser focused 2020. Who's with me? Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to my Instagram page or my blog, go ahead and follow, subscribe. If you're new to my YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe. Like this video, leave a comment, tell me what you think, share your goals. Love you guys so much. Walking into this new year, this new decade, feeling so invigorated. I'm so excited to be going with you guys. I can't wait for all the great things that this year has to offer. So let's get this paper, leave the excuses behind, laser in, catch you later.